have just given Northern Illinois one chance after another. Now Ohio State with Darren Lee. Touchdown. The difference what separates a good player from a great player is what happens in the mind. We practice Tuesday through Thursday. And that's really where the physical side of things happens. That's where we actually run through the plays, get the game reps in there. But um, what's lost in there a lot is the mental work that we all put in. And then uh, Friday, you know, we're not allowed to practice, but we come out here, we watch a lot of film, and be prepared for anything that we see on Saturday. So cognitive systems engineering is in basically, it's basically the study of cognitive work. So what we do is we study distributed cognitive work systems. So we don't just look at the individual capabilities, but we look at how those individuals can work with each other uh, and you know, how they interact in order to uh, do their work. What I've always found fascinating about football is that I basically am watching a cognitive work system in action. I'm watching cognitive systems engineering play out. So we're watching coordination between agents, not on the feet, not only on the field, the players on the field coordinating, but also coordinating with the intents and desires of the coaches on the sideline. They're going to you know, look out at the world. Uh, they're going to you know, try to take what they know and apply that to the world. They're going to go sample the world to see how those actions that they took affect the world, and they're going to go around that cycle again. Every week it's a new it's a new playbook with the same core concepts, but it's a new playbook to adjust to the different teams. So we have to be able to pick that up on the fly on Tuesdays so we can apply it on Saturdays. So I think one thing that's key, and I think it's key to the cognitive work of football, is uh, frame activation. I'm going to look at the world, and I'm going to try to understand if I've seen something like this before. So basically, think about the brain or the mind as a deck of cards. And I'm going to go through each card and try to figure out if one of those frames, one of those framings of the world, is sufficient for what I see. And if I find a frame that's sufficient, I know what actions I can take, I know what related frames can help me understand further, um, and I can also determine maybe this frame isn't working, so I can go select a new frame. As a defender, I'm going to look to see what are, what's the opponent trying to do right now. Are they trying to fake a punt or a field goal? You have to be prepared for your individual job responsibility, but at the same time there's 10 other moving pieces on the field, so you have to be able to adapt. This is a play right before they tried the fake. You can see me popping off. I'm not really blocking anybody. I'm still, I got my eyes on the kicker and making sure that they get it off. So on the next punt, I'm again, I'm lined up in the middle here. When they come out here and my eyes are still on the punter, I'm doing the same thing as last play. You can see they're blocking it a little bit differently. That was the same rep that we were prepared for in practice. You know, Coach Combs went through it, said this is a fake that they can run if they see a short side to the field. So then they ran it and we reacted and got the outcome that we wanted. You were able to identify from the from what you were seeing from the formation you saw in front of you that this is a potential fake punt. So that frame is already in your head now. Right. You know they're on the 12 yard line, so this is a pretty rare thing. But they're still, you know, if you wouldn't have seen that frame, there's, I don't think there's any way that that would have been like, oh yeah, this is fake punt territory. Right. Yeah. Uh, but you see the formation now, you're you're primed for that, and then you can go right at the, the actions you're going to look for, you're trying to you know, cover your side uh, and make the tackle if it happens. You were able to run the punter down, right? The, the, the body did what the body was supposed to do, but um, you know, there's all this mental preparation to you know, get you in that right position you know, in the first place and activate the, what right. turned out to be the correct frame. Right. To the normal person, it looks like they ran a fake punt and the guy made a tackle, but there's really a lot more that goes on behind the scenes. When we're watching it in a film, we're sitting in a chair, but we're still calling out the defense like we would be if we're standing as linebackers. That kind of helps us when we get out there on, on uh, Saturdays. It hopefully makes that transition time. When they line up, it's like we have that recall. Football players have to be very, very smart to be able to respond to different situations that even the coaches haven't prepared them for.